What's good, YouTube? If you want to figure out how to post your own Fortnite map, you found the right YouTube video because I'm going to tell you how to do every single setting, whether that's the settings in Fortnite as well as the settings outside of the game because you need to do both. So make sure you guys do this. But before we start, if you guys want to support me, make sure you use my creator code in the item shop. Now let's just get quickly into it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to find one of my maps. So let's do this, for example, Fashion Show Customs. So that this map is posted. Why? You can see obviously view details the island code is right there this map's already posted so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into creative normally so we'll just find normal creative because again you have to do some settings inside the game before you can go and post it and you actually kind of basically post it from fortnite so let me go into where in the world is creative i love how epic games makes it so difficult to find it there we go, creative. All you have to do, ready up into creative. But I want you guys to make sure you watch the very end to make sure you don't miss any tips, any things, because you could mess up sometimes and you won't be able to get accepted. So make sure you do every single thing that I show you in this YouTube video so your map does not get rejected. And if you have problems with rejecting, your map getting rejected, I'll make sure to go over that in today's YouTube video as well. For someone who's had a lot of maps rejected, I've also had a lot of maps accepted. So I've been able to learn a lot of things. So first thing I'm going to do is make sure I click the exact map that I want to post. So fashion show costumes would be the example. Now, as I'm doing this example, make sure you just see it as it's not posted because each step I'm going to show you, you still need to do regardless. So I'm going to go here, load into the map. First, obviously, always make sure that you have your map perfectly made. So, for example, this is just like a fashion show map. So, it's all, everything is done here. So, once you make your whole map, go into your island settings. And then make sure that you have all your settings done, which is whatever it is for your map. Always make sure as well that you make a backup. Create island backup. Make sure you click this. Do not click restore from backup. There's chances that your map might be just cooked. So just create island backup. Click this just simply because there could be, let's say you make a new style to the map and it starts glitching. So then instead of, you know, your map just being cooked, just restore from backup and you can remove the mistakes that you did. And then once you're done, literally all you have to do is go to overview, click publish island. And then what it'll do is it will create its own code and that code will be its own code. So what I'm trying to say basically is that that code is a private code. That private code is for you to test out. So now what you need to do is you're going to back out out of Fortnite because now you need to go to Epic Games. So I'm already signed in. All you have to do is sign into Epic Games. On the right corner, you'll see a bunch of different things. But then you just want to click Island Creator. When you click Island Creator, you'll get taken to your page. If you haven't made your creator page, I highly, highly recommend making your own creator page. Just so any of your followers, any of the people that know your maps can look up you and then find your maps so look i don't have my own profile i did just add my youtube there just because why not and then obviously there's monetization there's analytics but what you want to go to is projects so i'm going to click projects and i'm going to go to the map that i posted just now so fashion shows customs so after clicking that, we have, you have, obviously this one is published, but it says manage publish release and view status of your public release. Only one release can be active on your island code at a time. So what you want to do is, is click publish new release. And then before we get started, let's check your FNC project is valid for publishing. Then click continue. And then what you want to do is you want to fill out all the game details. So now you first have your title, then you have your game description. And then there is this machine 
localization where it says it will automatically translate your text which you can do that if you want could be a chance to get more map players if you do the machine localized obviously you can add up to four tags which i would recommend you do so obviously making sure you do a bullet list and then this information is not placing anywhere which i believe uh what was wait what the information is not player facing and okay so what did you change this is something that if you publish a new release this is something you have to do you have to write what changed even if it was little if you say like because this happened to me a lot of times i'll just say like if i literally move one block i'll say uh new buildings placed or if it's a setting like new settings made or something along those lines after you finish that you usually don't get this last question though usually it's all these questions then you need to go to rating now age rating required this is something you have to do for every single map your map will not get published if you do not do it this is the i a r c rating now is it annoying absolutely i really wish they didn't have to do this however again this is what you have to do in order to publish a map so we have this now this map in specific somehow got e granted i couldn't tell you why but the rating is this and it was still able to publish if you can find a way to make yours rated t that is beautiful because since this is rated e some skins that have weapons on it won't be able to load into this map so why epic game wants to do that i have no clue the map is still published and that's all that matters to me so you want to make sure your map is rated t and that's simply because with the question air which i can't show but with the question air that you will see here then you will be able to answer the questions and make sure it's pretty easy but just note the game is Fortnite, so there's gonna be some questions where it's like is this game realistic it's not realistic they died and then they like flop to the ground with drones that's not realistic obviously it's like kid friendly so just make sure you keep that in mind but again try your best to get a rated t game because a lot of the times you will not get accepted if you have weapons in your map and it has e again i don't know how this got accepted epic games not really helpful with that however if your map gets accepted i wouldn't worry about it then we have the personal media so make sure you always put a thumbnail right here upload an image and video trailer of your game display in the fortnite creative discovery so yeah make sure you always have a thumbnail here and then this is recommended i would always recommend doing this as well always 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 recommend doing that and then island trailers optional as well 10 to 40 seconds this island trailer is basically a video that plays while they click on your map so let me try and find a map example on what that will do and the reason i'm saying this is very important is because there's some island stuff where epic games has required people to do so i think eventually fortnite's going to just require everyone to do all this stuff Let's see if this map has it so not all maps have it only some maps or it shows like a recording i bet you bhe has it I, I can almost like guarantee it i just want to show you guys kind of an example of what i'm trying to tell you because again a lot of actually epic games might have it so yeah, look they have a recording of the beginning this is just obviously to give people a heads up of what they're tapping into but the reason i'm telling you about this is because uh i don't remember what option it was but there was an option where it was like you have to do it obviously landscape thumbnail being one of them but if they're saying optional dash recommended again they're gonna update it to eventually to where you're gonna have to guarantee do it so if you already do it now not only is that just gonna help you and benefit you but then you don't have to go back into your map later to fix it island trailer i don't have i've never done it for any of them but if you think and you have a little bit of time to do it i'd recommend doing it 10 to 40 seconds if you just do like a 10 second clip and like that could help out your maps significantly then if your lobby background image will be by players and teams i will show you exactly what the background looks like and honestly i recommend everyone doing a background the reason i didn't do this because it's a fashion show you don't really need that but i want to show you one of my favorite ones that i have of one of my maps 
So if I go to the, let's do this one. So the red pit free for all, this is my background. So you can do whatever background you want. The only thing is you just want to make sure that your background doesn't have any text. So just make sure your background has zero text and you should be perfectly, perfectly fine. So after that, you have to make sure you don't do that, right? Attributions, most people do not have to deal with this. And then visibility at the end. And then you could also click this. And then it says, I would like this island to be featured in Epic Games promotions, which include in-game Epic picks or out-of-game promotions social media. Therefore, I grant Epic the right to promote my island. It's as simple as like, your map could get promoted more. So I recommend doing this, especially if you have a map or if you're using new devices that Fortnite just added. Because just like YouTube, how if you, let's say, do the live streaming on shorts that YouTube was promoting, uh, Epic Games is kind of in that same boat where if you do some of the new devices and stuff like that, Epic Games likes that and it will promote your map if you do some of that new stuff. So that's why I always try to have it on. I didn't have it on for this one because I haven't been on this map for a while. But, um, uh, go, oh wait, continue and exit. Okay. So yeah, obviously I had this map approved. Now look, there is times where your map will fail. This happens all the time. Happens all the time. And the biggest reason this happens is simply because of the rating system, the IARC. And if you are in this video and you are dealing with the IARC rating, I would just recommend just keep doing it. Like keep going through the process of the IARC. Eventually, one of the questions that you will change your answer to will make it approved. I I can't tell you how many times I failed, 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 and then it finally approved because of just one weird question that I, I said yes to. It's, it's one of those things where Epic Games has it came out to explain it. And on top of that, Epic Games is very, very, I would say odd when it comes to matching the rating to Fortnite. Because at the end of the day, Fortnite is rated T. So that should just make it fair enough. But since Epic Games wants to make their game towards kids, now they have to make this IARC rating for your Fortnite maps, even though the game is rated T. That's, you might be like, that sounds ridiculous. Maybe it is. However, what Fortnite has done is they wanna reach to more than just players of the T rated game. So that's why when we make these maps, you are forced to make it. And if you made a map before that didn't have ratings and you didn't change it, your map got deactivated. I had a couple maps myself personally that got taken down and removed was simply for the fact that I didn't have enough time to make the IARC rating because of the difficulty back in the day. Now it is a bit easier. All you have to do is obviously fill out the form and make sure you answer the questions as best as possible. And again, try your very best that when your map has weapons, try your very best to keep doing the IARC rating until you get rated T. Because if you don't get rated T, 9 out of 10 your maps aren't going to get approved. I got E10 on this only up map, which is really unfortunate because I need rated T. But again, I've still had many, many other maps work as well. Sometimes as well as they'll take down your thumbnail. Uh, they took down my thumbnail said due to violation. There was not a single violation. There was as simple as a image, a couple bit of text. It was a death run. There was nothing wrong with this, but this will, this will be one thing as well. Epic game. There's no way for them to, to help you out with this. Like there's my biggest recommendation is you're kind of on your own. So obviously if you want to comment below, some people will help you. But what I will say is that I wouldn't think of this as a stressful thing. Posting for the maps is fun. It can make you good money, but obviously, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, you do it correctly. And so look, this is for example, a fail, fail, failed regional restrictions. The only regional restrictions it is, is Russia. I wouldn't worry about this at all. If it's because Russia is one of those places where it just keeps, it keeps having it blocked. So I would not be worried about it at all. Uh, it, it's, that's just normally how it is. I would not be worried about that. And then obviously, you know, it's crazy. So PK looked at this map. I, I found that crazy, but look, literally failed, failed, failed. Like it's, it's normal for that to occur. 
very very normal eventually it will get accepted though if your map genuinely has nothing wrong eventually it will get accepted so hopefully this video helps you out. I've never made a video where I went on to the Epic Games store. So I thought this video would help. Thank y'all so much for showing up. God bless. Jesus loves y'all. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see y'all in the next one.